I want to talk you through this slide. This is a single subject experimental design uh, uh, graph, and it depicts response to treatment for uh, two sets of treated behaviors. On the, in a single subject design, we measure repeatedly prior to treatment in what's called the baseline phase, the behaviors of interest. So in this slide, we've got one set of uh, words that the person's going to be working on in therapy, which is the top graph, second set of words that they're going to be working on, and then a third set that they're not going to be working on that this is included for a little bit of extra experimental control. You can see in the baseline phase, we measure repeatedly. So for example, this might be, again, production of S words in the top graph, maybe production of K or K words in the second graph, maybe production of F words uh, f in, the, in the last graph. So we can see in baseline four measurements where it looks like the patient is sometimes getting the words produced correctly, but not very often, not much more than 20% ever. Looks to be pretty stable. Then we institute treatment with the S words, and we can see we, the filled, filled circles are items that receive treatment. The open squares are those that have never received treatment. So we can see improvement in probes, which would be conducted outside the treatment session itself. We can see improvement in trained items, and we can see improvement of untrained items in that top graph. We can see that training of S, if we look down to the second graph, isn't impacting training of K. That's remaining stable. And so treatment continues until a prescribed number of sessions occur or until uh, a behavioral target is obtained. So you can see that this person has, re has obtained 100% accuracy over three sessions, and so treatment is then stopped with the S, transferred to the K, and we see improvements in K words, followed by nice generalization, response generalization to untrained K words. So this would be an example of measuring acquisition effects of treatment as well as response generalization effects of treatment.